happy day friends. If you guys are consistent with watching our vlog, you'd know that this past week I only uploaded once and I finally know like why I felt so out of the loop. If you can see outside, it is definitely fall. Fall came full swing. It did not wait up for anything. It just, bam, it was here. Like all of a sudden it was here. And I kept trying to figure out like, well, like I feel really off this week. I don't really have much motivation to do anything. Like I started getting more symptoms of depression and anxiety and I just couldn't figure out why. Because I was doing pretty good with my gut health and if you guys have watched some in the past, you know that focusing on my gut health completely turned my symptoms of depression and anxiety around and they became so much more manageable and I felt like I had it really under control. But this past week I was like, well, what the heck is going on? Like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. And then Austin said something to me the other day that just totally reminded me like, holy crap, like seasons are changing. Every time it starts getting colder, the sun is not out as much, I always start feeling more depressed and just out of it. So there's my answer. That's why I've been feeling so out of it. And I feel like now that I know what the problem is, I can cope with it so much better. It's the worst thing in the world when you know something is wrong, but you don't know what it is. Like that is just, I rack my brain over it all the time and it's just not healthy. So now that I know why I've been so out of it, I feel like I can really focus on what I need to do to just feel myself. And a lot of dealing with that is making sure I'm eating right, making sure I'm just giving myself self-love and self-care and just making sure I'm constantly in a positive mindset. So for me, that's what helps me deal with seasonal depression and seasonal, like just kind of like a mood drop. Um, and it's a real thing, like <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of it before. So thank you, babe, for reminding me. Definitely looking forward to fall. Um, just because I start feeling like this doesn't mean I don't like fall. I love fall. Um, <laughs> In fact, I've got my whole fall getup. Actually, let me show you in the mirror because I'm really loving my outfit today. I know this isn't the best way to show you, but it's the best I can do right now. So I've got my brown boots that my sister got me. These are actually from Walmart. I think they're super cute. They're just from Walmart. New jeans, just a plain white shirt. I've got my red sweater thing on. This is what I wore for our engagement. So it's got like sentimental meaning to me too. And then I've just got a cute little choker necklace. Super simple, super comfy, and I actually feel really put together today, which is not normal. <laughs> but now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I feel like I can put more energy towards like making myself done in the morning. It's, it's self-love, self-care. Just makes me feel good about myself. Something that I always love doing in the fall, like as soon as fall hits, I get in the mood to cook and to bake. The weather outside is crappier and I just wanna be inside and I actually like cooking. So I pinned some recipes the other day and check this out. This is an egg white omelet, but it looks like a pizza. <laughs> so that makes me wanna eat it even more. Got some chicken chili in the crock pot. We're having that for dinner and that will also be my leftovers for tomorrow. And in the oven, I'm trying something new. Maybe some of you have seen, like, people are using cauliflower to make all sorts of things. So I decided to give it a try. I'm making hash browns with cauliflower and cheese. These actually look really good. Okay, they don't look nice. Like, I didn't shape them into hash browns. I just kind of slapped them on there. This looks so yummy. I'm so excited to try it. Man, if I could just keep up with cooking like this, if my meals could look like this all the time, I would be a happy person, but it does take time. I'm hoping that I can just make things in big batches, like the hash browns, and maybe I could freeze them and keep them for a long time. But it smells so good. Mm. So definitely not like, it does not taste like a hash brown. You can't, substitutions are meant to be substitutions. They never taste like the real thing. However, it's really yummy. <coughs> now for my eggs. This is still gonna be really hot. I can still see the steam coming off of it. Mmm, but take a look at that, you guys. I am a huge omelet fan. They are my go-to breakfast. Just load them up with veggies. This one has spinach and tomatoes in it, so like a garden type. So good, you guys. I'm gonna enjoy this. Happy day, friends! It is... Honey! 
What was that? A plate! This isn't Logan Paul. I'm not just breaking plates Honey. to break them. Sorry. It was an accident. What are you doing putting plates in the range of my, my swinging hand? Range. My swinging range here. Uh. Oh, now I'm mad. <laughs> I'm just channeling my inner Logan Paul, okay? To be um, honest, Jess and I are not feeling great so today. So yesterday after dinner, we went and watched It, which... I thought was more funny than scary. I think I laughed more than I was like, holy crap, what's gonna happen? And then when we got home, I opened up a bottle of wine, because that's our tradition. We decorate while we drink a bottle of wine, but we both are not feeling good. And after my first glass, I was like, uh, I need to go to bed. Let's get to it. Son of a biscuit. I can. Ugh. Oh. 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 Sort of. Oh. I hate that noise. Freaking hate that noise. Also, fun little thing. Um, apparently our P.O. Box uh, doesn't like to receive mail. Someone sent us a, an invitation. A wedding invitation, how cool. A wedding invitation and it got returned to the sender. Jess and I were talking about how fun it would be to go to a wedding. I think that'd just be hilarious. Go and like kinda crash it. Not. Like, we wouldn't, like, wedding crashers party it up, but it would be... I would! Oh, shit. <laughs> super, super, super love the gesture. Thank you so much for inviting us. Unfortunately, we can't make it down. I don't think we can fly out to Texas last minute. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to send us something through the mail, know our P.O. Box is always down in the description. We love getting stuff from you guys, for real. It makes our day. Makes me happy. But so does peanut butter, so... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've decided that this next week I'm not gonna post either. I will be vlogging, but for my own sanity, for me to just kind of adjust to the new weather and how it's affecting me. I'm just gonna enjoy this time with my family. They're in town and my nephew and sister-in-law are in town too and I don't get to see them very often. So instead of having to worry about posting every morning, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be a break week. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna enjoy the time. You're not gonna post at all? I'm gonna post Monday, today, this put this what? vlog. What? Well, what am I gonna do at work? What do you mean, what are you gonna do at work? I like watching our vlogs at work. Sorry, not this week. I wanna be able to focus on spending time with my nephew and sister-in-law. So, there you have it. That's Fine. what I'm gonna do. Fine. Okay, <laughs> first off, here's my little pick your poison coffee bar. Ooh, how cute. I did mend the plate. It's all better, back to normal, sort of. I mean, it's got a crack. There's my little, I made these, you guys. I made these three things. Isn't that cool? There's my little Pinteresty part of the house. I'm pretty proud of it. I feel like it's a fun little Halloween decoration. And I'm gonna fill these two with like green and purple liquid. So it just gives it more of a Halloween touch. We've got a little pumpkin up here. I just didn't know where to put it. A little haunted house up there. Freaking bats, I love Halloween. Got tiny little pumpkin things right here. And I decided <laughs> this hasn't had a picture in it for weeks. I'm gonna redo this so it's a little bit more fall themed. Just something something fun to do is just like switch out some decoration pictures in your house. Um, just to make it more seasonal. And this is the main seasonal colorful stuff I've got going on there. And a skull. So that's pretty much it and I've been crocheting. Austin thinks nobody my age crochets, but thank you folks for backing me up. You know who you are. You guys, he's a nut. I was we've, hoping to do that in the background. We've both caught colds over the past couple days, so we've just been really trying to get better. Mr. Soda Drinker over here. I've been drinking like a mixture of apple cider vinegar, lemon, ginger, Bringing everything good She's for you. That's, I've been I've been calling it my potions class, but I'm feeling a lot better today. I think I'm feeling a lot better than he is. So it's working. All right, guys. Like I said, won't be posting this week, but starting next week again, I'll have some good uh, some good stuff with my nephew. He's such a cutie. I'm so excited. And Maple, you get to meet him, and probably you're gonna knock him down. Hey. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Maybe better luck next time, mate. 
That's it. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a week. Bye.